Hello and welcome Vault Hunters, I am Striker Dynasty Games and we have some great news, great updates, it has to do with future DLC, a little, small little Valentine's mini event, as well as a new increased level cap. Let's get to it, no BS, here we are. Now, let's talk about the Valentine's Day event. Unlike the Bloody Harvest event that was actually from October to early December, this event is only going to be one week long. That's right, it's called Broken Hearts Day, and it's supposed to start on Thursday, February 13, and it's only one week long, and again, it's called the Broken Hearts event. You will be able to get all kinds of cool rewards that includes weapon skins trinkets uh, legendary Jacob sniper rifle and I think also an SMG so as far as the details of how it'll work I'm guessing it'll be almost similar to the Halloween event of uh, the bloody harvest where there was ghosts and stuff and this time it might be hearts but I think it'll function a little bit differently so I'm definitely excited about that now the level cap I know what you're thinking 10 more levels baby that's 10 more skill points 10 more into my skill tree we're gonna go to 60 we're gonna go to 70 no we're actually the level cap is going to be increased from level 50 which is where it is right now and it's going to be increased to wait a minute that's right level 53 <laughs> only three more levels um, I think it's a strategic um, plan obviously from gearbox but that still is pretty cool because you will get three more skill points to include into your skill tree. That could possibly make a difference slightly in your build. So it's going to be increased to level 53. And yes, the gear level is also going to increase to 53. So it's not a huge difference. You can still continue to play with the weapons and the gear that you currently have at level 50. But for those of you who are at the end game content and you still want to go back and regrind for all of the weapons and armors and everything, well, here's your chance. Now, going on to, last but not least, the current or the upcoming DLC, there wasn't much information given other than the fact that they will release more information on the upcoming DLC later this month. So, I think that it's going to be announced at the PAX event, and they're going to release information about the premise, uh, what the story is going to be, the character that's going to revolve around, and so more to come on that. Small little tweaks and stuff with Malawan Takedown. Um, cutscenes, you can now skip over cutscenes. That's going to be in the next update. Um, and I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything here other than the true takedown mode. Skippable cutscenes and something about turning on and off certain guardian ranks as well as some changes small little gameplay changes like reviving teammates should be a lot smoother now where it hasn't really been um, since the borderlands 3 was released so that's just small little updates i hope that you like it there's still a little bit more left in this clip it's just some action some grinding some new weapons that i was able to get that dropped for me so stay tuned and i will have more Updates as Gearbox starts revealing the next DLC. Enjoy the Broken Heart event that's coming up on Thursday and keep grinding. I'm Striker Dynasty Games. I'm out.
the Jabba Mogwai Vault Hunter, and don't let it get wet.